Good morning, YouTube. Please ignore the Nemo fish and look at the bubbles, for they are the focus today. With animation nodes, I have created a particle system, but unlike a particle system, I have control over the wiggle of the bubbles, and I can make the particles appear to respawn, thereby reusing them. If you're enjoying animation nodes and you'd like to contribute, I encourage you to go to Jacques Patreon page and contribute to the effort. Although he's freaking brilliant, he's really a pretty cool dude. Please see the link in the info section. In video number six, I went over this grid mesh, so you can go check that out to find out a little bit more information about it. But this determines basically how many bubbles I've got. So I'm going to drop this back. Um, to two so we can actually see what's going on with the bubbles if I scrub this you can see my bubbles are going up but wiggling and when they touch the top BAM it goes right back to the bottom so the the value of the Z height of my bubble goes from 0 to 15 and then back to 0 again so the way it's doing that is this modulo math node. Modulo, modulo. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is pretty much what it looks like. A sawtooth wave. It goes up to whatever value it is and drops back down to zero. Up and back down to zero. So you insert a value that is constantly going up and you have a divisor and you divide it into that value and whatever is the remainder it returns that so as things go up it returns from 0 to 40 because of this math node and then I change the 40 the 0 to 40 to 0 to 15 with this map range now I've done all of this pretty much in every one of my videos where I have a random number that something is going to start or something's going to complete or whatever so I'm really just adding to the frame a random number to have a different position for each bubble then of course here I'm scaling the bubbles randomly so each one is just a little bit different in size just like normal bubbles are and then here you can see it's kind of wiggling back and forth the way bubbles do and it's getting that from this number wiggle that number wiggle is being added to the x value of the vector. So I separate the vector after I get it from this vector list at the top here. Then I modify x going back and forth with this number wiggle to what it actually was. Because it starts off at x, then it adds this number wiggle, which is plus or minus whatever the amplitude is, half half a, a unit then my Y actually remains unchanged so I'm not making it wiggle forward and backward just backward and forward <laughs> back, side to side and then my Z of course is being controlled by this whole thing I think that's all I was gonna say about it because even though it looks like a mess I'm doing pretty much the same stuff that I've always done only this modulo whoa math node is different. That's all. Thank you for watching.